Hey everybody, let's just uh, uh, have a quick review of the upper limb venous drainage. So for the quick review, remember, we're just going to talk about uh, from these are the superficial veins and those are the deep veins, which is called the brachial vein. So from the superficial vein, uh, the veins are actually on the dorsal side. So from dorsal digital uh, veins are going to drain into the dorsal metacarpals and dorsal metacarpals are going into the dorsal venous arch. So from the dorsal venous arch, two veins are going to arise, one on the uh, one on the uh, lateral side and one on the medial side. So pinky, pinky thing is middle side so the, uh, they the both veins like uh, the cephalic and basilic going to turn towards the anterior side or towards the palm palmer side and the cephalic vein is going uh, that on the on the on the lateral side of the uh, anterior of the uh, uh, forearm and on the cephalic and the basilic is on the uh, uh, on the middle side of the towards the pinky finger so the, they both come together and join at this called median cubital vein so median cubital vein they are going to join together so uh, median cubital vein actually uh, the drainage is from the cephalic towards the cubital and from this cubital vein is going uh, again joining the median antibrachial vein basilic vein is going to join another uh, uh, vein that is median antibrachial vein which is coming from the palmar side of the uh, hand and again join the basilic vein and basilic vein and brachial vein again combine together to give rise to the axillary vein and in that axillary vein the cephalic vein is going to drain directly because it was coming from that side gave a gesture single branch it was a median cubital vein and again mo moved upward and drained into the axillary vein so uh, let's talk these are the superficial so this is the deep so for the deep it's very simple the palmar metacarpal veins uh, like it, it follows the it follows the brachial artery, so it's very simple. Palmar metacarpal vein drain into the deep venous arc. Deep venous arc red drain into radial, radial, and radial again joins with the ulnar uh, vein and uh, combine they form the brachial vein. Ulnar again, palmar digital vein drain into superficial venous arc. Again uh, drain into ulnar and ulnar radial uh, come together and form the brachial vein. So the brachial vein and the basilic vein are combining together to give rise to the axillary vein. So this axillary vein is going to change its name um, uh, after crossing the first ship. It's going to be subclavian and subclavian is going to be drained through the internal jugular. And from the internal jugular, uh, this vein is going to be drained into the brachiocephalic. And from brachiocephalic, it's going to drain into the superior vena cava. So easy, so simply. And uh, please make sure to keep asking questions and keep visiting Tag the Schooling. Thank you.